Hi everyone, I'm Marina Faber and I'm from South Africa and I want to say thank you for having me on this group. I'm really, really so happy to be in this group. Uh, what a privilege and um, I'll just get started. Um, I had a dream where I was in this, um, yeah, yeah, the dream was about three phases and um the first phase was where me and my husband, we were in a shopping center and um, I noticed a few girls and they weren't dressed properly and um, I remember my husband telling me, listen, I'm going to buy them some clothes just to cover some stuff up um, because they were very naked. And um, yeah, he bought them some clothes and we went on with the night like nothing happened. And um, in a wink of an eye, I was in this castle-like place. I'm not sure where I was, um, but it was definitely ancient. It was really, really beautiful. And um, But I remember I was not allowed to speak of Jesus. Anything to do with Christianity was not allowed. And um, I was working for a very powerful man, which I believe actually was the Antichrist. And I was doing a job as a housekeeper. And um, as I walked, it was the end of my well, the end of my shift, and I walked um, into this room, and the Holy Spirit told me the room was dark, and He told me that, listen, can you please wash the walls? And I was like, okay, um, why? And He told me because one day my 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 children is going to be here, and when they smell the smell of the walls. They will feel my presence. And I, t and I, t I saw there was washing powder next to me. And um, I thought that was really weird. But I love the smell of washing powder. It makes me feel so... It, it makes me feel, uh, um, feel like home. And, um, <laughs> yeah. And as I did that, the gods came. And um, they told me, why are you still here? And I was like... I'm sorry, I just thought I will wash the walls for you. Um, it was pretty dirty. And they took me to the Antichrist. <laughs> um, please note, in the dream, I didn't know it was the Antichrist, to be honest with you. Um, in the dream, it was just my boss. But weird stuff happened, which actually makes me believe that he's the Antichrist. And um, I didn't see a face. I only saw him in his black suit. I was in the hallway. And I remember there was a little girl, well, not a little girl, she was a young lady, standing in front of me, but she was so scared. And I remember feeling her fears. That was so weird. And um, as I went in, I was wondering what happened to her. Where, where is she? And I was, I was thinking it. I wasn't talking and I was thinking about it. And this guy just answered. He, he said, don't, don't worry about her. The punishment was light. We threw into the sea. I was, oh my goodness, how is, how is that punishment light? <laughs> wow. And obviously, as I was standing there, like, shocked as what just happened to me, um, in a wink of an eye, I was out of there. I was in this boat. Only four people can fit in, inside this boat. And... I remember the, the, the anxiety was, it was terrible. It was something I'd never felt before in my life. And everything felt so heavy. It was like this mountain on my shoulders and it was, it was bad. And yeah, I don't, I don't ever want to feel that fear ever in my life. And, um, as we were going about, um, I noticed some people in the front, in the front row, well, the first few boats. <laughs> um, I remember them going up um, into heaven, and I was like, and I remember my, my, my last thought was, thank goodness, Jesus, you came to save us. And as I went into the air, I woke up. That was, that was actually so sad, because I actually wanted to see Jesus, and... Um, yeah, that was that was amazing, and um, I'm not sure what this means. Um, I'm not a prophet. I am just a normal girl. <laughs> I am. Yeah, I'm not trying to 
uh, predict the future. Um, everybody who has a vision really strongly believes that something like, like that will happen eventually. But I don't think it will happen in that way, per se. But I think definitely the, the anxiety will be there for most of us. And um, the fear, the, the, the stuff happening around us, everything is going to happen. But I believe if we get ourselves right with God and remember to listen for His voice and be in a relationship with God and know His word, I don't think it will be that bad. But let's see. Um, but in any way, thank you. And um, yeah, I will pretty soon share some more stuff I, I saw as a young teen girl. And um, yeah, some of that stuff was really amazing. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much. And I hope you guys stay safe and enjoy your evening or your day. I'm not sure where you're from. In my time, um, it's about 5 p.m. now. And uh, it's getting dark. So... <laughs> So, everybody, please stay safe and take care. Bye.